If we think cash is the analog and digital currency is the form of digital CBDC is the digital form of cash. Today, clearly, we're in a hybrid situation. We're using both. And we know in the past, when it comes to cash, central bankers were very much in control with all aspects of cash. And now we're comfortable to the point where the private sector plays a big role in the printing of the cash, in distribution of the cash, and with the private sector, we use interest rates to manage the supply of cash. The same thing is likely to happen with CBDC. Yes, the central bank will have a role, mm. but at some point in time, the same way we don't call it central bank cash, we're probably going to stop calling it central bank digital currency. It's going to be a digital form of the cash, and at some point in time, hopefully, we will be able to be 100% digital. People are used to it right now. Is uh, Many of our payments are digital. Uh, the truth is, I said that we're in a hybrid model. There's less and less use of cash. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, from predominantly digital with a little physical, I think the transition to fully digital is not going to be a stretch. People are used to it. People have engaged in it. And uh, circumstances did help. Is adoption rates increased because of COVID? Yeah. This is where contactless mm -hmm. started to become uh, something of a necessity, something of a safety, something of a requirement. And because of that, there is very little resistance. Trust is already there. We just need to build it in a way that makes sure that we safeguard the risks. Cybersecurity risk is a must, and it needs to be dealt with at the national level. Mm -hmm. And there's to counter cybersecurity risk, you need to continue to invest, you need to continue to collaborate, and you need to continue to train. With those three things, we've done it in the past, I think we should be able to manage these risks.